All right, so in this video, we're gonna show you how to launch PS Vita games directly into Vita 3K using ESDE. So if you look here on my screen, I have essentially three games represented in ESDE for PS Vita. And if I go into Vita 3K, you can see I have four games here. So the missing game here is Muramasa. Uh, what I'm going to do here basically is set up a link from ESDE to open up Muramasa directly in Vita 3K. So here's how you do that. It's a few steps. First thing essentially is in your file browser, you're gonna to go to the directory where ESDE looks for PS Vita games. In my case, it's internal memory, ROMs, PS Vita, and your device, it might be on your external storage, things like that. And you'll notice I have basically three files here. So what I'm going to do is add a new file, and I'm gonna name it uh, Muramasa Rebirth dot PS Vita. Click done. So that creates an empty file here. The last thing I need to do is go into Vita 3K, long press on the game, then click on copy app info and title ID. And that copies the title ID here. And now go back into file browser. Whoops, not that actually, one second. And we're gonna basically open that empty file we just created. And then in here, we're going to paste the ID that we just copied. So that right there. Now the thing to keep in mind here is there should be no space before the ID and no space after. Then just click save. And now we're going to basically restart ESDE, which will rescan the ROMs directory. And now you'll see that we have Muramasa here, basically uh, ready to go. Now, if I press to start this, it should open up, <laughs> let's see, directly into PSV, into Vita 3K. So there you go. So that's how you set up PS Vita on ESDE on Android. Um, basically requires, you know the ID of the game. You have to have the games installed in Vita 3K as well. And then you simply just create kind of like a shortcut file in the ESDE PS Vita folder. And that's it. Hope that helped. Uh, talk to you soon. Thanks so much.